Hello everyone, this is Dave from Option View, and today we will be setting up Option View with Interactive Brokers, also known as IB, as our data source. Let's begin. We'll start with Interactive Brokers. After you have started Interactive Brokers and before you log in, look at the lower left hand corner of the login screen and you will see a More Options link. This will display expanded settings for IB. Click the link and verify that you are using the stable version as opposed to the latest, which has been known to cause issues connecting to Option View in the past. Once you've verified you are using the stable version, you can log into and start Interactive Brokers. Once IB is started, click on File and then on Global Configuration. Click the plus sign to the left of the API and then click on Settings. Now put a check mark in the following boxes as shown on the screen. Enable ActiveX and Socket Clients, Read Only API, Download Open Orders on Connection, Include FX Positions when Sending Portfolio, Send Status Updates for EFP and Volatility Orders with Continuous Update Flag, Verify Socket Port is set to 7496, Also use negative numbers to bind automatic orders, Logging level is set to error. Timeout to send bulk data to API is set to 30 seconds. Allow connections from localhost only. Make sure the trusted IP is set to 127.0.0.1. If you have any boxes that are checked that this tutorial does not, make a list of the checked boxes for later referral if needed, and then uncheck them. Once you've verified these settings, click OK. Now we can start Option View. The first thing we should do after starting Option View is to make sure Option View is connected to one of four servers, either NV1, NV2, NV3, or NV4 in the upper right hand corner of the program above the green globe. If not, please close and restart Option View until you are connected to one of the four servers. If after a few tries and you cannot connect, please contact OptionView support by clicking on Help Tech Support and using either of the three choices to request support. Now that OptionView is up and running, bring up the live data source by either clicking on the green circle in the upper right hand corner of the program or by going to Data and then Live Data. You will see at the top of the dialog box, Live Data. Click on the drop-down arrow next to the Live Data Source field and select IB Interactive Brokers. Verify the port number is set to 7496 and the symbol limit is at 80. Just below this, you can verify to which NetView server number you are connected. Once everything is done, click OK. And if you see the little white dot circling the green globe in the upper right hand corner, you are now getting live data from Interactive Brokers. As a point of data source verification, I've always added a column on my quotes display showing the data source. This way, I know for certain from where my data is originating. This is just an easy way to verify your data source. One last thing I'd like to cover is what to do if you get the following error message pop up on your option view screen when using IB. Unable to create TWS OLE interface. Here's what you do. First, close Option View, then open Windows Explorer to navigate to the OptView 8 folder. Scroll down until you find a file named regTWS or regTWS.exe, which has a little Option View logo as its icon. Right click this file and choose Run as Administrator. A small installer file will run. Let it run, but at the end, when asked whether you want to run Option View now, click Yes. 
This will re-register the DLL needed to interface Option View with IB and will restart Option View. Now you should be fully functional with running Option View using IB. This concludes our demonstration of running Option View with Interactive Brokers. If you have any questions or would like a transcript of this presentation, please feel free to email us at tech at optionview.com or call Option View Tech Support at 847-816-6610. Thanks for listening and have a good day.